Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome. My name is Shalina Monet, aka Lena Monet. So today's video we're going to be doing is featuring Afro Bomb Twist from Nayu Hair. They were very kind to send over this hair for review. This is 24 inches. It's a three pack color 1B and they describe it as a water wave, a water wave bomb twist crochet hair. Here I'm just pulling it out for your view. Um, there is 48 strands, so they talk about how this hair is like a one, you know, a one pack do all type of thing. And I'm just going to show you um, this cardboard card, and it just shows you directions, um, one of the type of styles you can do. Um, I will have all the information for this hair listed below. They also give you a crochet needle and some hair jewelry in the package as well, so that's helpful. I'm also going to use that. I'm also going to show you um, what the hair looks like, like the curl pattern, the texture. It is like a kinky curly texture, so it's not silky at all. And you see it's in a water wave uh, uh type of design or whatever products needed you're gonna need some sewing thread headband of your choice you're gonna need pins and a sewing needle scissors and most importantly you're gonna need the crochet wig cap I got this from my local beauty supply store but you can also get this from like Amazon eBay um, any online store that you like to shop at to get your wig supplies and here I'm just showing you what the pack looks like it's so full it's so bouncy I really do love it it was too long for for my liking um, so I did end up cutting this hair in half Okay, so I'm just showing you guys again the hair and I'm just showing you that I'm just going to cut it and then I'm going to start installing it and I'm actually going to use the crochet needle that came with this hair as well just to get started here I'm just readjusting just to show you now I'm just showing you the how the application of how to apply the headband on how to sew it on so you're going to pull it inside out and then you just put it on there. Now I put it on towards the band part. I don't want it to cover up any of the holes, the open holes where I'm gonna be putting the crochet hair. So I just do that there. And then soon you'll be seeing me put the pins in and starting to thread this on. Now for those who do not know how to sew, you can create this unit without any sewing abilities. You just don't add a headband. Um, you just, um, the whole purpose is also to make sure you keep the perimeter thin. You don't want it too thick. And I'm just showing you what it would look like after you've, you know, sewn it on, you know, the purpose of the headband. Um, you still have the function of changing out your headbands, whether this is sewn on or not. But, uh, yeah, you just put it on the band. Now, I do want to give a big shout out to Miss Unique Beauty. I will leave her handle down below as well. Um, I was inspired by her video here on YouTube to create this style because I love crochet hair. I really do. It's fast. It's convenient. This style took me two hours to do, but that's in the midst of me filming, readjusting the camera and all that stuff. If I didn't have to do all that and I was just sitting and just doing this, you know, on my own, it probably would take me like an hour to do. And, um, but yeah, I want to give a shout out to her uh, because she inspired me to do this. Also, if you check out her channel, she does have other crochet styles um, like this on there as well. This gives you multiple ideas. It doesn't have to be just crochet hair. It can be used in multiple different ways. Um, this hair... Uh, cost for this is like well it kind of adjusts but last time I checked it was $59.99 they also have a 20% off coupon on there that you can use usually when I go to the store and I buy hair to do this type of styling I buy six packs and you know usually it has 12 strands in there so that's 72 strands or seven yeah 72 strands of hair that I would be putting in my head compared to the 48 that's in this pack. But again, I did cut the pack, I cut it in half. Um, I am gonna show you how I install this hair. 
But I also want to let you know, like when I got closer to the crown and some part of the sides, I did leave the lengths on. I did not cut it in half because I was noticing that it wasn't looking very even and I wanted it to be like an even type of bob look style. And um, yes, I left it whole. Here I'm just showing you what it looks like once it's completed. Crazy fun fact, I guess you could say, is while I was doing that, my thread unraveled. So I had to re-thread it through because I accidentally went through the mannequin head. But here I'm showing you how I am installing the crochet hair. And I do this across the whole bottom row. Again, you want to keep it thin. You don't want to have it bulky. Um, what you'll see at the end of the video, I do show you like, you know, me wearing the unit that I created, uh, which I absolutely love. Um, I would suggest you putting like wig clips or um, wig comb. I used bobby pins just to, you know, get it onto my head. Um, or you could use a wig gripper if you have one. You could try that as well. Just to make sure it doesn't slide off your head or a good wind comes and blows it down the street and you're chasing it. Um, also, I do want to make a notation that when you do put this hair in, you know, um, you want to stagger it when you get up into the rows. Um, staggering it also just makes sure that you don't run out of hair and um, you can always go back and fill in any lumps or bumps. Um, so if you notice that your unit is looking thin and you completed uh, the cap, you can go back and fill in where you think it's necessary. Um, <clears throat> and I already mentioned, yeah, I do suggest you putting some clips in um, to for this unit. Um, I didn't think it was heavy at all. I mean, it had a little bit of weight, but not, you know, like heavy, like my neck is hurting or anything like that. Because you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I love big hair. So big, thick hair. Um, I will be going in and a little bit around the perimeter, the whole perimeter. And that, you'll, the, which again, you'll see at the end what it looks like. And just take some out. All right, so everything here is pretty much self-explanatory. And so I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for supporting me. We are growing over here on the Lena Gang, 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 Gang. And I really do appreciate your support. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you are watching and you're not already part of the Lena crew. Again, peace, I hope you enjoy. Baby, I wonder, baby, I wonder, would you just put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me? Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya, let me lay a great time on ya. Don't hesitate, no, don't you? Mm -hmm. Just say you will. Put your sweats on for me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya. Let me lay a great time on ya. Don't hesitate, no, don't you? Just say you will. Way 
just got in town Then I won't let humanness cloud all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Just say you will, will. 